now we continue the chapter our earth ninth class and the first unit is our universe the heading is our universe the sun and the earth for thousands of years humans have been looking into the sky and trying to understand the objects that shine there the stars that remain fixed vis-a-vis -vis each other and the sun the moon and the planets which keep moving across the sky vis-a-vis -vis means in relationship to the stars that remain fixed vis-a-vis -vis each other and the sun the moon and the planets which keep moving across the sky so there are some star like objects in the sky that move and they are the planets sun and moon you already know how they move across the sky well what are these and in what ways are they related to us how do they affect us influence us many people studied these objects very carefully noting down all movements and happenings in the sky he means measure them and trying to figure out what they are and how they move and work initially people thought that earth was firm and stationary for thousands of years centuries they thought that and all others went around it since things have been like this for thousands of years they also thought that the earth the stars and sun have been like this forever and will be like this forever without any change this is a very important point they thought that they will be like this forever and there will be no change at all or there was no change at all about 500 years ago scientists came up with a new understanding that the earth is not in the middle of everything that it is actually moving around the sun and that the, that the sun itself is also moving and that the countless stars in the sky are actually so many suns so so many stars the sun is also a star during the last 100 or so years people have even figured out that stars are born they grow old and even die so they die stars just vanish so those are the things that you will understand slowly step by step by step of how they are born how they st uh, remain stable and why they die finally scientists have figured out that the stars are actually part of larger groups called galaxies and that there are millions of galaxies in the universe so you have a galaxy and there are millions of stars actually billions of stars in each galaxy and there are millions of such galaxies so you can imagine the staggering the size of the universe now they are of the view that the universe itself started around 13.7 billion billion means 100 crores 13.7 100 crore years ago with a big bang and that it may end several billion years later so this is this is something fascinating something extremely wondrous 13.7 billion years not 13.7 years 13.700 crore years so you know what is a 100 crore you know people have 100 crore rupees so 100 crore property so 100 crores 200 300 1000 13.7 billion 1300 crore years back there was a big bang and that it may end several billions year late, years later from this were formed galaxies and within the galaxies were formed stars and around many stars planets formed and went around them in our lives things move very fast you know obviously things around is changing like even trees plants they start growing but change every moment however these astronomical changes astronomical changes means what happens in the heavens in the sky astronomical changes take place over thousands and even millions of years so it's not that you know it's just changing all around today human beings are investigating and trying to understand these very distant and complex phenomena 
to study all this. Several spaceships, you all know that, you keep seeing in the newspapers, have been sent into the sky. Human beings have even landed on the moon. The moon that we see in the night, human beings landed, you know very well. In 1969, Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the moon. Spaceships have landed on nearby planet Mars and some have even gone beyond the end of our solar system from the earth. So we have sent spaceships. In short, the sun and the earth are a part of a much, much, much larger universe which is constantly moving and changing. That is the wonder. The earth and life on it are products of these changes and are influenced by them. They are products of these changes. The earth and all this came because of these changes and they are also influenced constantly by these changes. So that is the whole setup of the whole universe. So before we try to understand the earth, obviously we should understand where we are in the whole universe. So that completes the unit, our universe, the sun and the earth. Uh, now there are three, um, two uh, points here in the inboxing points which are very interesting. Let's go into them. Why do you think people today are curious to know about the secrets of distant stars and galaxies and the beginning of the universe? Now why do, pe why are pe why do people want to know uh, about the secrets of the distant stars, galaxies, even the beginning of the universe? So why would you, anybody want to know that? So I'm sure um, all of you will say, oh, it's so wonder, it's such a wonder to know all that. To know is the primary quest of human beings. They want to know. In fact, it is because of such curiosity, such daring curiosity, I would say, thinking and curiosity and imagination that we came to know so much. And then later we found so much of understanding. So that itself is such a great thrill. Also, there are many users also. It doesn't come directly. The use doesn't come directly. Indirectly, the use comes. Like, for example, suppose you understand what's happening in the sun, then you'll understand many things on earth. Then you'll have a deeper understanding. So main point, I think, uh, personally, I would say, is that everything is so interconnected. So you can also think up of your own reasons as to why man wants to probe into the stars and the galaxies and the beginning of the universe. So you must all write down uh, your own observations, your own thinking, independent thinking on this question. Second is, initially people thought that the earth was in the, at the center of the universe and human beings the most important creation. That was what people believed. For a long time, people believed that human beings are the center. We are the, like, you know, the center of the universe and all that. But later, they found out what difference does it make to us to know that we are a small speck, insignificant speck in this vast universe? How does your feeling or your perception change? So I'm sure you can think about that. If you now with this unit, you must understand we are nothing in the universe. So what what happens? We lose the self-importance. We lose our egos and you know our vanities. You know we think that we are the center. We are not really the center, and we realize we are also part of this whole universe. A kind of feeling comes. I'm sure that's how it comes to me. I'm sure you can write down a beautiful essay, a short essay on this question by your own self, and read about the solar system and the planets if you want more details. Uh, in chapter 10th of stars and the solar system and chapter 8 science textbook also you can read you or you can uh, listen to the video you can do both these things and you can have a full understanding and facts and details about this unit of our universe the sun and the earth now uh, the next unit would be earth as a planetary body so we are slowly from the universe we have come down now to earth now, in the next unit, obviously, further, we will go more and more deeper into what is this earth. This our earth, our beautiful earth.